really enjoy eating asparagus and it's best done in season. This time of the year, it's growing rapidly in the UK and you can eat it seasonally in lots of restaurants. There are many different ways to enjoy asparagus, so I thought I would explore that today. When asparagus is really in season and in its peak, I think the less you do with it, the better. Let's start off with this asparagus then. I've got four different types and you can see here the difference in size. There's a great advantage in buying somewhere known for its quality. They are all sized, bunched together to cook evenly. Result. Oh, and there's this purple one. It's so good, you could almost eat it raw. Yes, I did just eat that, but the taste isn't anything like I've experienced before. It's quite sweet, believe it or not, very tender and very edible without cooking it. Here we go then, my first way to cook asparagus. Very, very simple. Place in a roasting tin, season with sea salt and freshly ground black pepper and drizzle with good quality olive oil. Very nice. Now put this in a hot oven for 20 minutes or so. You'll find after this time, it roasts this asparagus beautifully. It comes up a little bit charred, but still very juicy. For my next trick, sorry, dish, I'm going to boil eggs. Ever had asparagus instead of toasted soldiers with a dippy egg? No, I didn't think so, so you need to give it a try. From this episode, I found out I'm still learning to boil an egg. My first attempt was under. So instead of me trying to teach you how to boil an egg, I'll let you figure that one out. You'll probably do a better job than me. Anyway, back to the job in hand. This is my second way of cooking asparagus, slightly poaching it in a shallow saucepan. Literally five to six minutes. Good asparagus cookery, I think, is about retaining freshness and flavour. What I mean by that is not overcooking it. If it still has a bit of a bite, then that is perfect. The idea behind this one is you can enjoy dipping your beautiful asparagus into the dippy egg. I've used chicken eggs, but you could use duck eggs. Very good. Next up, we've got my ultimate go-to dish to show off this seasonal veg, and that is with toast, eggs, parma ham, and hollandaise sauce. It doesn't get much better than this for a brunch or lunch dish. I'm going to very gently melt some butter in a saucepan. Whilst this is happening, I'm going to separate a couple of eggs in another bowl. You want two yolks. I will add half a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, a splash of water so it doesn't get too thick, and a little bit of salt, and I mean tiny. Whisk it up really well and place it over a gently simmering pan of water. It's important that this water is barely simmering. Too hard and those eggs are just going to overcook. Now, mix between whisking and adding in melted butter. The key is to do this slowly. If it is becoming too thick, you can add in a splash of cold water. Once done, place to one side and keep warm. Now, crispy parma ham time. Place some ham in a pan and turn on to a medium high heat and let it warm through and eventually it's gonna crisp up. In the same pan, I'm gonna cook some asparagus. It makes sense to me to use the saltiness and general yumminess left by the parma ham to cook the asparagus. Turn it from time to time and you can add in a little bit of water so it doesn't pick up too much of a char and develop too much color. Again, let the asparagus have a bit of a bite. If you want to know more about how asparagus is grown and more about the life cycle and really how just generally awesome this vegetable is, then check out last week's video. I'll link it at the end and you can see me go to an asparagus farm. Exciting. For now, just enjoy these dishes.
Ash. There we have a few different ways of cooking asparagus. This asparagus locally grown to me, so I'm a little bit more passionate about it. And I think the ways that I've cooked it, I've simmered it, I've fried it, I've roasted it, I've done a few different things and definitely get the best out of the flavour. Let's dive in and have a taste. So much flavour coming from that asparagus, that dish with toast and a palmer ham and a boiled eggs and a lovely hollandaise that all works so so well together and the asparagus cooked there works very nicely the roasted asparagus as well roasting asparagus is a really good way of eating it because it just adds a little bit more texture to it which i really like and the parmesan on the end is is great as always thank you very much for watching fellow foodies and i look forward to catching you in the next episode Thank you.